My name is Nate with Expedition Drenched and today we're doing a fun project, a lot of hard work though. We are going to be applying our copper coat anti-foul. Uh, so today what we're doing is we're just doing the prep work, but we're going to show you all the steps from beginning to end, what it takes to apply this, and also why we chose copper coat to be our anti-foul. Uh, what we've already done, we've already painted the entire hull of the boat. So what we've got is we've got a two pack epoxy primer. That's what this green paint is right here. The rest of it's already painted. Um, but from here, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be lightly sanding with an 80 grit uh, sandpaper to just key uh, the, the primer to give the copper coat just something to grip onto. So yeah, it's, the uh, copper coat is uh, very slick and it just needs something to, to stick onto. Then we're going to be power spraying it. Then we're going to wipe the entire thing, making sure that there's no particles or dust um, so that we have a clean surface to work with. So that's the steps and uh, yeah, pretty excited. Uh, behind us actually, we have our friend's boat who have actually already applied their copper coat and you see that there is actually already oxidizing. So it's kind of nice that we have somebody right next to us that is also using the same product so that we can see like uh, how it's all going to turn out. So really excited about it. What anti-foul is and what it does is it actually keeps all of the ocean's growth uh, from growing on your hull, whether that be slime or barnacles or sea slugs or crabs, doesn't matter what it is. But why you want this to keep off of your hull is uh, one they'll attach and especially like barnacles and stuff will really attach deep into the hole and they'll wear away your paint and eventually affect and help rust the steel. Um, also, it slows you down. So we've heard of boats losing up to two knots just by having like a, a uh, complete coral garden like growing underneath their boat. So it's important that you have a clean bum on your boat and it all starts with having a good anti foul And this one in particular is more ocean friendly. So why we've chose copper coat over normal anti foul is normal anti foul is actually really bad for the environment. It slowly um, will flake off and that's just really bad um, for the ocean. It's just toxic paint going out into the ocean over time. And that's why you have to reapply um, normal anti-foul every couple of years. They say about every three years or so. Where copper coat is just a slick epoxy material there and it doesn't flake off. Um, so there is no residue going into the ocean. And that is also why you don't have to reapply it every three years. If taken care of appropriately and just brushed off every once in a while, uh, they say that you can have your copper coat last as long as 10 years. So that is much better for not only the environment, but also for your wallet as well. So that's why we've chosen to go copper coat because it actually is really hard to find facilities that can haul our 50 ton, 23 meter um, vessel out of the water anyway. So it's just long term planning. Okay, so today's the big day. We're gonna be uh, applying our copper coat anti foul. Uh, so pretty excited about it. It is a pretty precise um, process. So what we're gonna be doing is we need to put the resin and the hardener together and then we're gonna be mixing in a little bit of uh, isopropanol to thin it, uh, which we're gonna be adding 5% here. And then you slowly mix in actual copper flakes. And then you just try to keep those copper flakes suspended in it so it's like not sinking to the bottom. And then it's kind of a race against time where you're just rolling it on as uh, quickly and smoothly as you can, just doing coat after coat after coat, very thin coats. So that's the plan today. Uh, we got all of our product from ABS Technologies, which is in South Australia and they have recommended uh, that we try to uh, pretty much just get it on as fast as we can um, with as many coats as we can and because we're in Darwin it is super hot here uh, which means it's going to dry incredibly fast so at least that would be going for us where we can just put coat on after coat after coat. So uh, we've got everything we need, we've got our protective gear um, and now it's time to get dirty. Let's go have fun. So with a copper coat, it's very important to always consistently stir because the copper is actually just suspended in the epoxy. So after a while, it does settle down to the bottom. So it's really every so often, as often as you can, just give it a good stir. 
And uh, even in the paint trays too, if you leave it sitting for a couple minutes, so copper will kind of come out of the solution and then uh, set on the bottom. So. so it's going on very patchy, very thin, but it actually turns like super copper right away. So it comes on a little bit pink and then the moment it kind of starts drying, you see that copper color. Yeah, it uh, at first is very, looking very patchy, but um, I will check in after the second coat. I think it's just gonna slowly just like fill in the color, so. But it's looking good. I think it looks sexy so far, so keep going. Doing the second coat now, and you can really see that it's starting to fill in. It's not looking so patchy, and slowly uh, taking form. So again, I just think it's a, a game of many, many, many thin coats. And so, but it's starting to look beautiful. I think we had a good team and I'm uh, glad we got it done. We'll give updates to see like how it actually does as far as like you know keeping growth off our hole. So we'll kind of give updates along the way and uh, see how we like the copper coat. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think she turned out nice. She's got like that Duracell battery look to her and um, yeah, I, think, I think she's dead sexy. So. Uh, on that, of all the jobs, I was a little bit stressed about just because it is meticulous. You have to do it right. If you mess it up, um, it uh, cannot go well for you. So um, I think uh, I feel relieved and exhausted all at the same time. So that said, we're going to clean up and uh, it's well after beer 30, so we have to go. Let's get a beer. Yep. It is finally time to get this girl back in the water. Look at her, she's got new lipstick on and everything. She's ready for the ball. She's ready to get wet. What are we doing now? Uh, we are doing a little bit of sanding. This is uh, it's an epoxy paint. And so what happens is the epoxy kind of like dries and everything. And so what we're doing is we're sanding just a little bit off uh, so that when it goes in the water, the uh, copper, the uh, copper flakes contact with are exposed. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's right. Yeah, yeah. to give a little copper coat update it's been about two three weeks since we uh, got splashed again and we're back in the water with our brand new copper coat um, anti foul on um, and I'm pretty impressed so far I'll go check I'll go show it to you and show you how it's up holding and we'll check out the hole together So you can see it's starting to get that cantina look to it. Slowly turning just a little shade of like Statue of Liberty Green as Coffer does. And uh, looking pretty good. I don't see really much of any growth on it. pretty much this is gonna be my final like review on our copper coat situation we've gotten this on now for about nine months we're cleaning it off and as you can see there's not that many barnacles nothing big uh, these little stuff that just slimes right off that slime and to be honest we've only cleaned the hole maybe three or four times in that time you're supposed to do it every two weeks so it's not like we've been doing a heck of a great job uh, doing it, but in any case, they're spraying it, so you do a power spray, get everything to come off, then we're going to kind of inspect it and see how our copper coat is holding up, but so far, I'm pretty impressed because I'm not seeing any big growth on it whatsoever, and uh, for not cleaning the hole very often, that's pretty impressive, you yeah. know? And this, you see like the little, these are like little shrimp guys that you're just chilling on it, huh? No, hey! 
Not bad, huh? Yeah, yeah this copper coat is holding up pretty good, I think, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. You can see how clean it is. It's gonna be way easier for them today to clean it because of the copper coat. It's not has no match. Yeah. Thing. Woo, back on the copper coat. What are we doing? Oh yeah, so we're preparing some uh, copper antifoul. This is so it inhibits the growth on the, the hole in some spots. So we're preparing that while we're in dry dock. And we're gonna put several coatings to make sure that we cover everything. And yeah, that's what we're preparing right now. It's a long process, but very important process. And we had to mix this up like six times today. It's pretty cool, huh? A little bit of copper. I, um, <laughs> so I must admit, they said that yeah, it won't work, but I can't imagine it being bad for it. Like, there's just little parts that have flaked off, and I asked Copper Cut, I'm like, well, we got a little bit of extra. Let's, um, let's like put little patches, like, uh, just on these dots, like, like this one, where it just kind of flaked off, and you have the, um, you got the primer below it. And they're like, ah, well, it won't bind to it, but. I just assume it's got to be better than just like leaving it, you know, with just the primer. So we're going to give it a go. Um, but yeah, not the manufacturer's recommended thing. Know that. So if it doesn't work, that's my fault, not theirs. And um, right here is our biggest little patch. We just got this uh, underneath there. There was like a little bit of rust because that's right at the water line. Sometimes it's above, sometimes it's below. And uh, yeah, there seemed to be like a little gnarly spot right there. These are just some some barnacles that have worked their way in. But yeah, we're just gonna do little dots, boink, 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 just in some of these little spots that it kind of flaked off. When that yellow is the uh, is just the um, primer below, and then we reprimed some spots. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it works. There you go guys, that is our copper coat. We're back in the water now, she's looking beautiful. Uh, you see that our the copper coat is now officially that beautiful Statue of Liberty Green and could be happier, honestly. So I've used many different anti fouls in my day, some that are supposed to just do all sorts of magical things, but I've never seen one that really protects the hole from growth like I have with copper coat. And I mean that. I. Uh, so in that six months we did areas where we cleaned it really really well we we're really diligent about it and there was times where we actually took a two and a half month break where we didn't clean it at all I came back and I was so paranoid that it was just gonna have barnacles growing all over it and I was shocked when it was really not even that bad um, yeah we just took like a little light brush and things came right off I would compare having a good uh, anti foul to kind of like going to the dentist or like brushing your teeth. Uh, the way I would say is if you have a good um, enamel on your teeth, that like you're using fluoride and you're really diligent about cleaning daily, it's kind of like the same as having a good anti foul. It prevents the tartar build of it, prevents the, um, the barnacles from growing. Where when you clean it the way you do, um, when you scrape the stuff off, that's more like going to the dentist which, you know, if you, you have to do both. And we use a great product um, that's a rotary power brush uh, that's great for cleaning. Um, it's been by Nemo Power Tools. And what that does is it really cuts our time in half. We have a crew of 10, um, but it's a 23 meter steel vessel. So it is, it's hard, you know, and we do it often, but uh, yeah, it's really important that you do. But, I wanted to just kind of show what happens. So we've got, this is our dive dinghy, which obviously doesn't have any anti foul And you can see how the barnacles have really affected the paint and everything on it. That would have happened uh, if we didn't have anti foul on our vessel. So it's the same thing. Left the boat, our dive dinghy in the water for way too long while it was gone. And that's the result of it. So I really uh, recommend everybody do your part to uh, make sure you have a good anti foul first and then stay on top of cleaning it. But really impressed with the product, everybody. Um, that's my full review recommendation. Um, if you have questions, if you wonder, is it right for you? Is it gonna work for my vessel? Uh, email our friends here at um, Copper Coat and just inquire about it. See if uh, it's gonna work for you. Um, but for me, uh, I fully recommend it um, from beginning to end. 
and I think giving a good now six month review, um, I think that that is enough time to really show you uh, how it's holding up on our particular vessel. So, any case, guys, I uh, hope that's been helpful to you. Hope that's good information, and uh, see you next time.